here you can see that uh, there is a beautiful blue area in the wings of the butterfly and I'm going to put a first layer of blue in the drawing and here I have uh, sky blue polychromos oh, let's get my sheet of tracing paper now over here there is red and pink and blue but there is a small area of blue something like that Now that I'm recording this, um, there's this uh, rescue operation going on in Thailand in that cave. I'm sure you've heard about it. And when this coloring tutorial series is online, then the rescue operation will be uh, over, I hope, but I'm sh I, I think so. And here I have Prime Rose, Luminance, I think many many people in the world are watching that um, rescue operation and uh, at this moment when I am recording this video the second day of the actual rescue operation is going on and they are saying that uh, now eight boys in total have been rescued from that cave so that is good news so hopefully tomorrow they will be able to uh, to get the other five out There were five, 13 people trapped in that cave. A football, a soccer team. What a story. I hope everybody will uh, recover from this uh, very scary adventure. And here I have pink meadow lake. Here in the Netherlands we don't have caves. And this color is cobalt blue, polychromos. At least we don't have natural caves. We have a couple of them, but they are actually mines. But in uh, Belgium, they have beautiful caves in an area called Ardennen, Ardennes. It is a, um, an area that uh, I have visited several times. And the last time we went there to visit a cave, we actually encountered heavy rains and the result of that heavy rains was that we were among the last visitors that were able to leave the cave um, with a boat and that cave has an entrance and then you walk through the cave and then when you go out 
you step into a boat because there is an underground river and um, that boat then will take you out but there had been so much rain that the river uh, the level was so high the water level that we were sitting in the boat and we had to bend over um, otherwise we wouldn't be able to get out because the ceiling of that cave um, was not there was not enough space for you to sit up straight so we had to bend over here I have another very light yellow this is Naples ochre very light luminol pencil I'm just going to add a touch of it here and there so when we were visiting that cave and that um, on that very rainy day it became very clear that water levels can rise very very quickly in a cave Well, I hope all the boys will, uh, and, this, and the coach in Thailand will uh, emerge from that cave safe and sound. And I hope no further casualties will uh, occur, you know. There was this one diver who uh, came into trouble and uh, he died. It's so sad. But, uh, well, let's just hope for the best. I'll do a little bit of extra work here on the background. I'm slowly building that one simultaneously with uh, the butterfly. No signs of monsoon rains here in the Netherlands. We can have very heavy rains, but uh, for the last couple of weeks it has been dry, dry, dry. Sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. And today is one of the first days in weeks, it's the first day in weeks that we have a overcast clouds. Clouds are here, no direct sunshine today. And I must say, I'm completely fine with it. I know I really love the sunshine, but it's completely fine right now to have a bit of clouds. I'll put a little bit of this cobalt blue here. I'm slowly building the dark colors and this is uh, Prussian blue, luminance. Just adding a light layer. And I made a very sharp point.
So what I'm doing right now is just concentrating, focusing on where I want to put my pencil because I, again I forgot my reading glasses. I really should take it should take them uh, to the passion for pencils headquarters. So I'm concentrating like crazy because I don't want to mess things up. Okay, that looks uh, good. And here I have Sky Blue by uh, Polychromos. Yeah, let's just do some mixing making uh, circles this time I think I'm going to add a slightly darker tone here, cobalt blue. Keeping my light touch so I can add many layers. When these videos uh, will be online, this will be old news, but uh, this morning I saw footage from Thailand about uh, how they managed to get the soccer team out of that cave. I'm sure you've heard about it extraordinary story
it was a highly specialized operation so people from all over the world with specialized knowledge came to Thailand to help to get 12 young boys and their coach out of this cave system that had flooded and this morning I saw footage uh, recorded by the Thai Navy SEALs incredible guys um, showing how they got these kids out wow I have uh, I know someone who is um, here I have a luminance malachite green it's a cool green it's almost bluish I I have a family member who was uh, in the special forces of the military you know com commando special forces and uh, I never spoke he never told me I never spoke to him about uh, his work in the army but I heard his father told me that uh, he could do that job because he he didn't know fear he was never afraid and um, if you when you look at the footage of that rescue operation in the cave you cannot do that job if you if you are fearful I would be scared to death <laughs> to uh, dive through such narrow passages and oh my goodness I once tried to do some snorkeling and I started um, using the snorkeling equipment in a swimming pool because I already knew that's going to be difficult for me because once I put my head underwater everything in my body is screaming out don't breathe in but you know with your snorkeling equipment you you can breathe it, it took me days to master uh, to overcome the fear in the swimming pool but then when you go out into sea do some snorkeling among the waves <laughs> Um, let's say I'm not very talented look at that now I think it would help if I use this malachite green also to build that green that black here that will really help pulling everything together. So then when you see those Navy SEALs who have, they know how to dive, but cave diving, as they had to do in this rescue operation, what, what I've learned about this is that it is extremely difficult and dangerous those navy seals manage to learn it do it wow it's very unfortunate that one person died but i think it is a miracle <laughs> that 
no other person died because wow and i've learned that cave diving is not for me and speleology is not for me either that is uh, you know exploring caves and squeeze yourself through very narrow passages oh no not for me looks nice I'm happy so far now I think you can see that the light areas of these uh, of this butterfly need a lot more color and I really must be focused try not to add darker tones but only intensify the light tones that already are here so it's a couple of days later now and this is a luminance pencil called Cassel Earth a very dark brown and I'm using it to build the black tones We've had um, a couple of cloudy days and today the clouds are uh, subsiding. We have a little bit of sunshine and a little bit of clouds and temperatures are quite high. 25 degrees Celsius. So that's, uh, that's nice. And we've had... Uh, very little rainfall these days, these months, I have to say. It's a very dry period. And I noticed something strange. You know, I like meteorology, I like the weather. And this time we have had beautiful weather for the last couple of weeks months but the last couple of weeks I noticed something interesting normally when we have warm weather in summertime the winds come from the south or the east but this time we have high temperatures while the winds come from the north and the northeast uh, that's interesting I think So maybe that is a sign of uh, climate change, I don't know. I stumbled upon a very interesting video uh, about something I had no idea was happening. In Africa, just south of the Sahara Desert, they are building a wall the Great Green Wall. All the countries are participating as far as I've um, come to understand. All the countries directly south of the Sahara Desert are participating and the idea is that by planting trees they uh, contain, they, they 
keep the sand desert where it is right now and it um, prevents the Sahara Desert from expanding to the south due to these because of these trees and it turns out to be a huge success it's not only that um, there are there is less there are less problems with sand and dust but the trees turn out to hold a lot of moisture in the uh, b below the surface in the ground and you know the water wells that had run dry they they have water again so that is huge benefit for the people farming there they can start farming again and they are they are farming again and the water wells have a good level of water again now isn't that great and i read they are building more of these green walls elsewhere in the world it is a in africa it is uh, from the west coast to the east coast of africa so a couple of thousand of miles and then um, 15 kilometers wide i believe yeah it's just beautiful i know there was a guy in the united states who did something similar there's a beautiful video on YouTube about this guy. He started... Uh, there was a piece of wasteland. Don't ask. It, it, it was very dry and there was... It was just terrible. And there were a lot of caves underneath cave systems but they had all run dry and the environment was very dry and I believe he, he started out by planting grasses and then the water the rain waters that would fall would be sucked into the ground by the grasses and they would fill up the underground cave system and then the wells started working again and lakes appeared and then other plants and trees were able to grow again beautiful and in India I believe it is India somewhere somewhere in Asia a guy is doing the same thing on a on an island, I believe, in the river. He's planting trees. Miraculous things are happening there as well. I absolutely love stories like that. Here in the Netherlands, uh, the last 10, 15 years, the uh, the garden fashion, you know, just how you want your garden to, what you want it to look like, was just terrible. <laughs> it was only s stones, large pieces of tired uh, pavement and no trees and it was dreadful. You know, I think when you have a garden 
the government should just tell everybody who has a garden to plant something that is green a couple of trees you have small trees too So as you can see, I'm just adding this Castle Earth very dark brown tone on top of the blues and I think you can see what's happening. Slowly a black tone appears. This morning I uh, did some research about uh, our holiday destination in Switzerland. This year we will visit Switzerland again, at least for one week. And I uh, searched for hiking possibilities near the town where we are staying. And I found two really nice hikes because I, I would love to go on a, a morning hike. You know, my husband, he likes uh, uh, running. And when he goes running, I want to do some hiking. So I find, found a couple of trails that I can uh, walk just right from the apartment where we are staying. So that's really, really nice. So I did some uh, sharpening. We are getting there, yes, this is good. <laughs> 